Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing a little chit chat, another little bomb talks. We're gonna be talking about dating. You know, dating as a what am I? A millennial. Before we get into the video, please be sure to subscribe. And after you subscribe, please be sure to hit the notification bell so that every time I upload, you guys get the notification. Also, let me know in the comments other stuff we should talk about. And as we hit these topics, let me know down below. Let's chat, sis. Let's chat, bro. You know? Alright, so. Also, I am on the fence about actually, like, spilling my own tea on dating in public. So, right now, I'm just feeling so weird about it. I'm probably going to have to give me some wine or something because... Me talking about dating and putting it online, child, that's a lot. That's a lot for me. Because when it comes to me and mom, I like to keep it private a little. Alright, so I asked on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Legally Bomb with two B's at the end. I asked on Instagram. I said, I'm recording a video about dating as a millennial. What should I talk about? And so, people kind of went off in the responses. Like, I'm actually surprised by how many people responded. So, the first one we have is um, submission. I mean, I don't understand what's the topic. Like, what's the problem? You feel like a girl not going to submit to you? It's probably because you're not a boss. She don't feel protected. She don't feel safe. She don't feel like she can't submit to you. You know, Girls don't submit to just anybody. So, if you feel like, as a guy, if you feel that, you know, you're running into a whole bunch of women and they're not submitting to you or respecting you or whatever, do a little self-reflection. See what you got going on. Because if you are, I'm going to say a boss, if a girl feels like she can trust you and she feels like you can lead and she can follow, she'll, she'll submit to you. It's not, it's not really a problem. Like, I see guys be like, girls, they want to be so independent. Duh, duh, duh. we want to be independent. But at the same time, we want to be taken care of. We probably feel like you can't even take care of us. So, let's start on that submission. This some, somebody said, these N-words, sis. Trash can ASS N-words. I can't really speak to that because I've never really met, like, trash dudes. I hear about it all the time, but... I'm never, I can never, I can't say anybody just did me just dirty, like, not saying it can't happen, because I know it can, but just me personally, I have not experienced it, you know, but so at the same time, if you feel like you continuously run into the same type of dude, sis, it may be time to do a little self-reflection and see why you're attracting that type of energy. I'm just saying, that's no shade and no tea, honey. All facts, no printer. This one. Somebody said different phases, talking, dating, and relationship. So I guess, like, some people don't really believe in the whole talking thing. But I mean, that's just kind of like, I saw a tweet on Twitter. I guess I should have saved it. But it was just something about, like, it's not such, such thing as talking. It's more so, like, casually dating and then pre-dating and then dating or whatever. And I feel like, call it whatever you want. As you'll see in this video, I'm all about doing what you please, making your own rules, doing what you want. But, I mean, different phases. Like, what, I mean, what about them? So, first you got talking. That's when you get to know somebody. Y'all probably just exchange numbers, you know. Some people say that you shouldn't be talking to nobody for a long time. But, again, we're going to go back to what I just said. I feel like you do what you want. If you want to talk to somebody for a year, that's between you and that person. It really ain't nobody else's business, honestly. T-B-H. After you feel like you're talking to somebody dating. Okay, I got a question. So, when you be talking to somebody, do y'all go on dates? Or what? Because, like, talking and dating, like... When I think of dating, I think of, like, somebody that's taking me out on dates. You know? Casually dating. Pre-dating. You know? And then, relationship. Yeah, we know how that go. Sometimes talking lead to relationships, sometimes talking lead to situationships, whatever you do with it. Oh, on that post, uh, the Instagram post that I posted, I said I'm also might spill my own tea. And so somebody was like, spill the tea, I want details. Somebody was like, could, because they know that I'm not the type, honey, I'm just not the type. This person said, definitely talk about dating while prioritizing careers and jobs. So, 
that's a really good topic. In my opinion, I think it's super, super, super important to work on self before you try to add anybody else into the mix. Like, you cannot go into a relationship being half and expecting somebody to complete you. No, you need to go into a relationship being whole. Not saying you need to be perfect, but you do need to do a lot of work with self before you try to date somebody because once you get into that relationship, you're going to be seeking a lot from that person to validate you and to fill you up. And if you break up with that person when they leave you're just lost and you're empty when you should do the work beforehand you know before adding to this person you need to come to you know i feel like both people need to come in as a whole so with that being said once you've done the work and you feel like you're ready for a relationship and you meet somebody who also makes you feel like you're ready for a relationship i feel like the prioritizing won't be as hard so you got to understand we cannot talk to somebody 24-7. Most of us do work throughout the day. If you're not working, I mean, what are you doing all day? Like, we're doing some type of job, you know. I don't want to talk to anybody all day. I'd rather not talk to you during the day. I'll check in here and there. Send a little meme, couple memes on Instagram. And at the end of the day, we get to talk, FaceTime, if we're not actually, you know, in the same city or whatever. We talk at the end of the day. You know, I'm not really big on being on each other's neck 24-7. That's just me. But like I said, I feel like once you meet the right person, prioritizing them won't be hard. And also, they'll be understanding of like, oh, you got to travel for work or, you know, you're working crazy hours and you're not able, this week you're not able to devote as much time to them. But with that also comes communication. Communication is super duper important. Like I said, if you're working later than expected, you're supposed to talk to your significant other at this time, shoot them a little text and just let them know. I'm working a little late, got a little carried away. Da -da -da -da. That reminds me of something I might tell y'all later. I don't know. Communicate. Let the person know. Or, you know, I mean, also communicate in a sense of like, let your partner know they're on your mind. And this person said, I feel like somebody else said this somewhere else. I don't know. Um, somebody said, maybe not. Somebody said how social media plays a role in dating. How social media plays a role in your relationship, in your life is up to you. Like people will say like social media, like I saw a tweet the other day, somebody said social media has ruined privacy. No, social media didn't do anything. The people using social media have ruined privacy. Nobody makes you go on Instagram and post. Nobody makes you go on Twitter and tweet. You choose what you want to post and you choose what you want to tweet. So, with that being said, I see a lot of people who are just, you gotta post me, da 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 That goes back to what we talked about at the beginning. Making the rules between you and yours. But for me, specifically, don't post me. Please don't post me. I'd actually love for you not to post me in my mind i think i want to post my man when we get married in my opinion i just feel like things are just social media is not the best place like for me social media is not always what it seems we always post the best of us and I don't honestly I don't know everybody that follows me we can we sometimes we do connect and get to know each other through social media but at the end of that I don't really know you I don't really know your intentions on following me I don't post a lot of things that I want criticism on that I want opinions on or that I that is important to me because what's important to me I want to stay near and dear to me what's what's I want it to stay close to me because once you post that stuff on social media it's just like, how many people view your stories at a time? For me, it can range from, like, four to five, five like, four to six hundred, depending on what I'm posting and what day I'm posting. That's a lot of people seeing what you post. And that's just on my story, so it's no telling what, when you post on your actual page and it's up there. And all these people viewing and screenshotting and sending, it's really not anybody's business. But I say that to say that's me. That's my preference. But if you feel like you want your significant other to post you, communicate that communicate let them know that that's important to you also being posted does not mean you're not getting cheated on and somebody quote unquote hiding you does not mean they're cheating on you it just means that might not be their preference you can get play on the page or off the page sis it don't really matter like he gonna do what he want to do regardless of if you post it or not but it sucks even more when you're posted and then you get played because it's like dang yo you don't respect her at all your social media it hasn't done anything for me. 
it hasn't affected anything that I have ever had going on. That's just the person that I dealt with, the people that I dealt with, and me. Like, I don't really care. Don't post me. I mean, if you choose to, that's on you, but you ain't going on my page. Period. Period. What's next? Why Tinder ain't it? Sis, I don't know. I don't use Tinder. Some people find the love of their life on Tinder, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Tinder ain't it. I mean, I'm not really into that. So, I don't know. So says, the next two are kind of the same. One of them says boundaries because these men are different. And somebody else says, should there be boundaries when talking to someone? I absolutely believe there should be boundaries because, like I said, if you're doing the work beforehand, you've kind of learned what you do and don't allow, what you're willing to tolerate, what's a deal breaker for you. So, in talking to somebody, I think there should definitely, should there be boundaries when talking to somebody? There should definitely be boundaries. Okay, don't be calling me on FaceTime at this hour, you know. Da, da, da. whatever your yes there should be boundaries yes there should be because especially if you're just talking to someone you're getting to know them it's like it's not that serious yet it's just like y'all just chilling it's not no big deal ain't no pressure or whatever but she said boundaries because these men are different again set your standards sis and if they meet them they don't and if they don't meet them don't lower them state state what you want make them come up and get it don't go down for it Someone said, can you just air these N-words out? Y'all, I'm not here to bash these men because I ain't came across none that are just like trash. But some of them are trash out here. If y'all want to bash them, that's on you. But I'm not going to do that because I love my black men. They just need some work. But black ladies, we need some work too. And that's no tea, no shade, just the truth. Okay, this one said, this one is really good. The fact that men and women aren't vulnerable, that hurts both of y'all in the long run. And she said, she continued in another one and said, it's always a chase to see who's feeling who more. Let that S-H-I-T go and be free in your emotions. I absolutely 100% agree with what she's saying. The way that I operate personally, you gonna feel me regardless if I'm happy, if I'm sad, I'm gonna let you know. I'm not the type to be like, um to fake the funk or act like I don't like somebody or well I do be trying to act like I don't like people but that's that's not what I mean I mean like if I'm actually very serious about you I don't have I don't really care about letting you know like especially if I feel the vibe I'm gonna speak on it some people are real bad about like not saying how they feel and holding back but it's like what are y'all holding back for like, granted, you may have gotten hurt in the past. Okay, you're gonna let you're gonna hold on to that forever. You're gonna let that stop you from falling in love. Like for me, like I ran into some bad situations or whatever that haven't ended like the best. But I would never let that stop me from encountering somebody else. I never go into situations like, um, uh, what's it? Guarded. I'm never. I don't feel compelled to. I don't feel the need to because. I feel like the way people treat you, when people do you wrong, that's a reflection on them, not on you. So it's like, what do I need to hold on to that for? What do I need to carry your wrongdoings to me for? Like, it hurt me, all right, dust yourself off, get up and move on because you're not going to stop me from finding my husband just because you ain't know how to act right. So I absolutely agree with her when she said, let it go and just be free of your emotions. Guys really struggle with that. Like, if you like that girl, tell her. Tell her you like her. Like, if you dating somebody and you really feeling hurt, you want to be a say it. Like, say what you got to say. Like, don't assume. Like, I've encountered guys who are like, my actions to let them know that I'm here. Like, I'm here consistently for you. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. But sometimes you got to verbalize that. You got to speak up. And the same thing goes for girls. If you're, if you like somebody, shoot that shot, sis. What's the worst he can say? No. Okay, on to the next. If you're cute, I'm sure it won't be hard to shoot a shot elsewhere. Just, I just feel like everybody should say how they feel and operate in freedom. Like, why do you want to hold back? Like, why do you want to not feel? Why? Or some people only have two emotions, happy and sad. Like, or some people do angry really well. What? No. Feel all of that. Get into all those emotions. Not just, just one. 
be free be open like communicate properly let people know what's up like just be open and then she said communication because some of my friends are shit communicate communicators so i can only imagine how bad she didn't it didn't finish so um i guess how bad it could be haven't we been talking about communication so far in this video some people really do suck at communicating like for example so this guy asked me out on a date or whatever or a date you can call it a date i don't like to say i'd be going on dates but i call it a date so this guy asked me out on a date or whatever and so prior to that we set this up like prior we exchanged numbers or whatever and so we had been talking all week and during the week he had like mentioned the date like referenced it in different conversations so the day gets there it, this week change numbers like at the beginning of the week and Friday gets there we're supposed to go out on Friday and but rewind rewind he asked me he, he was like do you want to um do you want to pick the place or you want me to come get you and you know I'll figure it out I said you can figure I'll let you come get me you can figure it out da, da, da. okay fast forward we said Friday 8 30 I don't remember the time let's just say 8 30 so Friday gets here um I'm just chilling like something in my head told me like man he gonna flake like he's not gonna show up so friday gets here seven o'clock seven thirty eight o'clock eight thirty nine ten never heard from him but the next morning i heard from him and he was just i'm just like what's up like what do you want because at this point you know pissed me off so all right i'll stop right there so he didn't show up come to find out he had he got caught up in work and da -da 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 -da, which is fine so I didn't have the best reaction to that because what you gonna curb, you gonna curb me me you know who I am nah but I just didn't really like that and I was also really like really looking forward to hanging out with him because he's like real cool or whatever I didn't communicate the best I didn't communicate my feelings well because I was just like shutting him out because I was really about to be like I'm done like that's one one strike you're out and that says a lot because I'm not really normally like that but for some reason that just really like pissed me off and so then I was like okay Dominique that's not the best way to be, you know, that's not. So I text him and just let him know, like, you know, I didn't really appreciate that. Da, 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 da. If you got caught up in work, all you had to do was let me know, like, communicate. And I told him, like, just let, like, all you had to do was send a text. Like, it was, I wasn't even, I wouldn't have even tripped. Like, what am I going to say? Like, you work too much? I don't want no broke boy. But I say all that to say, like, the situation could have played out a lot differently if there would have been better communication i'm just so confused as to why guys it really pisses me off because guys can say anything else at their mouth like smartest mouths can crack a joke easily can be sarcastic easily but as soon as it's time to communicate it's a struggle it's time to say how you feel when it's time to talk about emotions there's a struggle because you're uncomfortable but you say anything else at your mouth and i feel like that also goes into like cheating i feel like people cheat because they can't communicate you can't speak on why you're lacking something and if you did tell somebody why you're that you feel like your relationship is lacking and they don't correct that and you go cheat you still can't communicate because you didn't call them out on it you didn't say to them you know we talked about this thought you were going to work on it but you can do that communication for me personally is huge like if you cannot communicate you can't do nothing with me nothing nothing because why can't you communicate what I'm willing to work with you on communicating, but you got to give me something, honey. Meet me halfway. This is not build a man, okay? You got to come with a little bit of something, and that goes back to working on self. Like, you know you're not a good communicator? Take a step back and don't get on that girl nerves. Same goes for girls. If you are not a good communicator, don't get on that man nerve. Don't waste his time. Don't hold people up. Don't block people blessings. It's somebody out here for all of us, and you wasting your time. And you waste somebody's time? No. Because that's how you get beat up. But somebody else said something about communication. Okay, this girl said communication, insecurities, trust, and boundaries. We already talked about boundaries. We touched on communication, so trust. Trust so hard to build, so easily broken. Mm. Trust is so important. Communication and trust is so important. Like, if you, for me trusting my partner not even like as it pertains to like other girls but for me i need to trust you with my feelings if i express to you that something is upsetting me are you gonna blow me off or are you gonna take the time to sit there and talk about it and get to know why i feel the way i feel 
that's really 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 big for me like i need to trust you with my feelings okay i need to feel secure and safe when it comes to you but trust is so important you know if you're out here doing dirt doing people dirty like just leave people alone just don't do it why do people do that like if you know you're not s-h-i-t why even date what's your purpose what's your point leave people alone Somebody else said communication is an issue that many people endure in a relationship. It is. It really, it is a big thing. But it's also, you got to meet that person that, if you're not good at communicating, you got to meet that person that makes you want to communicate better and makes you just want to be better in general. That's how you know you're the one. We're going to talk about that in a minute, though. Somebody said these N-words ain't consistent. Child, they not. They not. Sometimes you got to put a little fire under their butt. It might be consistent then. It could sometimes we place the blame on a person that we're dating, but sometimes it's also on us. Like sometimes we're lacking in areas. So we gotta do a little self reflection as well. My mom said get married or not. Right now it's a no. I don't really feel like it. I'm I don't really feel. I mean, I want to get married, but I don't know. Sometimes I just be feeling like what we gotta get married for? We can just be together forever. What is, I need to I need to learn more about marriage. Like, what is the purpose in getting married? Like, why do I gotta get married? Why we just can't be together? But I mean, some days I feel like I can't get married. Somebody said, talk about the power in being private while dating. I think it's super, super, super duper important to be private while dating. I've said that already, but I cannot stress that enough. Privacy is super, super, super important. I need you to keep everything to yourself. You don't need nobody. I mean, you can't you tell your friends and stuff like that, but privacy, like, keeping it off social media, it's like, you're trying to build something here. You can't always do that work when, excuse me, you can't always do that work when it's other people, you know, in your business. And, you know, once you post somebody, it could be like, oh, I seen you with my friend on this day, or, um, I don't even know, like. He used to talk to my friend. I, I messed with him. They're like, okay, and I got him now. What's up? I don't be wanting to deal with none of that. Like, I don't want negativity. I got all the positivity I need from people that... The people who need to know will know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's super important to keep things to yourself. Like, keep your business off of social media. When you beefing with your man, don't tell nobody. Just... Lock it up. Throw away the key. If you're on a better relationship, I think that privacy is like dumb important. Don't be on social media posting everything you and your man or whoever is going through. No, keep that to yourself. In my opinion. But who am I to tell you what to do? And last question from Instagram. It says, does waiting to have sex make a difference? That's what's on you, God, and the person you about to lay down with. If you feel in your heart that it's not going to make a difference, then... Do what you want to do. I feel like if you want to have sex in a day, two days, 30 days, three months, do what you do. If that's what you're, if that's where you're meant to be, I don't think that'll make a difference. But, again, what would we to say? Alright, so, the tea on my dating life. So, for the past, who chill? I mean, I'm about to sit here. I can sit here and record this, but when it comes to editing, it doesn't have to be in the video. So, will it make it to the video? We don't know yet. Stay tuned. As far as my dating life, for the past four years, I have been dating somebody very consistently. And at the beginning, uh, at the end of 2018, we decided to part ways. So, um, that means I'm, like, newly on the market. I mean, I could have always, like, it was a real weird situation. Like, I don't even care to explain it because it wouldn't make sense to anybody. It made sense to him and I. And it was cool. It was no bad blood. It just was, like... We're not the pe we're not the people that the other that we're meant to, we're not meant to be with each other. It just wasn't it. We're still cool. It's no beef at all. He's a really cool person. But yeah, it just wasn't for me. Like I just felt like I was putting out a lot more than I was getting back, and eventually just got I was just over it. Not to say he's a bad person because he's not. 
um, we just weren't right for each other. And I feel like for a long time we tried to force things and make it work just because of, like I think like comfortability and being around each other so long. I don't know, but yeah, that's um people don't know that. <laughs> so that's why I'm low key like nervous to put this in a video. So yeah, with that being said, I'm like newly on the market and I am absolutely loving it. I love being single like single single like i don't mind it at all i never feel lonely i never feel slighted i don't miss it i mean i do miss sometimes like because i be wanting some money to like go do things with but i mean i can still call him to hang out we still like we're still cool um but um yeah it's been really cool like being able to mix and mingle and you know the other day i asked my cousins i was like you know when you're dating or doing multiple people or whatever like are you supposed to like let them know up front that they're not the only one trying to be the only one and she was they were just like no not until a conversation comes about you know um that the other person or me um are, is ready to settle down and i don't know if i'm ready to settle down yet it feels really cool to be free and explore my options and do what i want to do and not have to answer to anybody um yeah, it's just, it's just been really cool. I'm not mad at it at all. But it's also really taught me to, like, just chill and relax and not try to force anything. Um, I, that's, I think that's really been working for me. Like, just chilling, relaxing, not trying to... But sometimes as women, we get, like, super excited in our heads when we meet somebody. And we go as far to, like, think, like, can I marry this person? I can see myself marrying this person. I can't wait to marry this person. Then that just starts to ruin things. It's just like, girl... Pull back, relax, like take it slow. Like he might not even be all that. That might not even be what he's here for. You can't even enjoy his presence because you're so worried about marrying him. Like, no. I just really be on some chill stuff. For me, it's really weird also being a dater because I don't really care to interact with a lot of people. In college, I dealt with like two, maybe three people, like on a serious like serious note because i can always i can just tell if like where this is gonna go like what you're gonna what role you're gonna play on sometimes i just have this like sense of like being able to know like if you're worth my time or not so that means i don't really like entertain a lot of people like if you get my number you're lucky like not even on no cocky stuff like that's just what it is because i don't get my number out i don't even be like texting people if i give you my number and i actually like text you back and entertain your conversation oh yeah you're like i must really kind of like be interested in you because i'm just not i've never been that girl i'm not easily accessible like that's just what it is um and not because i think like i'm better than anybody else it's just like i'm not gonna waste your time or mine like i don't really see it for you so it's not even point it's no point in us even trying to sit here and fake the funk and act like we about to make something pop off because we not so yeah i just been like chilling going with the flow um people do like spark my interest i might like, got a little crush i don't know I cannot believe, I would be very surprised if this makes it into this video because I am saying a lot right now, you know? But yeah, just as a tip to my ladies, like, girl, just chill out. And it's weird because, like, I don't know, the way it's been lately, I was, I'm not even, like, I wasn't even, as soon as me and the guy today broke up, it was just, like, our opportunities kept coming at me. It was, like, what? Like, all I had to do was let that go. And yeah, so it's just been like really weird. And I'm not even, you know they say you find things when you're not even looking for them. I'm really not even looking for anybody. I'm not looking to be wiped up. And that's another thing for me right now, the way I feel, I'm not really like trying to be nobody's girlfriend. So for you, the way I know that like somebody is for me is because they're gonna make me they're gonna change my mind on that. They're gonna make me feel like, yeah, I got I got to have you, I got to be with you. But I don't feel like that right now. I just don't. So yeah, you got to really change my mind, honey. You got to change my mind because I'm just I'm I'm not convinced yet. You know, I'm not like I don't wanna be 
wrapped up in nobody yet. I spent a lot of time being wrapped up in somebody four years from my last year, no, my senior year, which is my fourth year in college. From my fourth year in college, my before, yeah. It was technically my senior year, but I did extra years, so I was like super senior, but my senior year in college until like some months ago, I was like wrapped up in somebody and I just, I'm not, I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing back to that feeling. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm also not looking for it. Like, I'm like, it's, if it comes, cool. If it doesn't, that's cool too. Will that change? I don't know. I hope it does. I don't want to be like this forever, but right now I just been really, I'm actually really surprised at myself. Even in like interacting and hanging out with guys now, I just don't even operate on the same mindset and the same wavelength. Girl, it's just different. This dude gave me, I'm, I'm just saying so much. Oh, I'm saying so much. Ooh. But yeah, that's how I feel about dating right now. In these few months of me just like being by myself and just chilling I've actually like I've learned a lot like about dating just kind of just chilling out and relaxing like it's no need to I know it seems like we're getting older and we are and things might not happen the way we want them to but it's like that's okay too just ride the wave as long as it's good to you like if a guy is you know going with the flow and he's not you know on your nerves like go with the flow says don't don't try to press that man for nothing because that's just going to scare him away. Just go with it. I'm going to give y'all a tip. You want a man to fall in love with you? Become his friend first. Make him feel comfortable enough to tell you certain things. Just chill on him a little bit. Don't press him. Once you start pressing, he's not going to like you. Just chill on him. And then once you keep chilling on him, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'm kind of feeling sis. And then he's going to pop up on you. And for the guys, here's a tip. I know y'all feel like y'all presence is a present, which it is, and it's cool. But sometimes you got to verbally say you feel in this girl. Like, let her know what's up. Like, tell her, girl, you feeling up. Period. Let her know. What's up? Like, girl, I want you. I like you. I'm in love with you. Tell her that. And watch. Let me tell you something. All y'all guys got to do is act right. And your girl will give you the world. But once y'all get to acting stupid and dumb and doing stuff. And invalidating her feelings. Not listening. You lost her. I'm telling you. I'm giving y'all the game for free. I'm telling you. Ladies, relax. Guys, communicate. But don't be relaxing on no dude who, you know, don't set the scene up for you. Make sure he's setting the scene up for you, sis. Don't be asking him, like, what are we, what are we doing? Girl, you just met him a month ago. Chill. Y'all ain't nothing right now. Where are we going? Girl, nowhere. If you keep acting like that, just chill on him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just chill on him. You're going to have no choice but to fall in love. That's how you get him. That's how you get them, girl. Um, I hope this was like an interesting video for you guys. Um, it was interesting for me because I had to spill the tea. I still don't know if it's going to make it in the video. Y'all will know by now if I made it into the video. But it was fun talking about dating and just kind of learning about dating as a millennial, as an adult. But, um, yeah. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please, please, please be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.